All right, guys, what's up? I just wanted to give an overview of uh, how I changed out my converter. It was uh, cooking batteries, and um, I figure if I show you guys, you might get some ideas of how you can do it too. So uh, you can see the old panel here. Um, you can buy replacement um, converters that slide right in here, but I didn't do that. I got a whole new unit, which uh, is right here, and you'll see in a second. But uh, I wanted to reuse this panel because it has uh, the AC breakers here. And I didn't want to get new ones of those. So um, here's the new converter. It's a PowerMax uh, something. It's like 45 amp. You can get it on eBay or Amazon for 100 bucks or so. And, uh, yeah, I pretty much just took out the old converter board down here. And then um, I took a grinder and cut this box off so I could leave the distribution part of it and reuse all of that. And uh, I have the converter wired into here, connected to the AC bus with uh, the shore power coming in here. That's all original. And... Um, the fuses are gone so I had to add a new fuse panel and you can get one of those at an auto parts store but um, this is all the original wiring just put in a new fuse panel on the side and uh, there's a light that turns on if one of the fuses is blown so um. <clears throat> Yeah, I think that's it. I just mounted it to here, and uh, it works 10 times better than the old one. I'm not cooking batteries anymore. Uh, this is a three-stage charger, so it'll give out like 14.6 uh, volts for 30 minutes, and then step it down for 12 hours, and then step it down again after that. So... Um, you're not going to cook your batteries. And then one little bonus is I added a battery indicator here. So that my wife can know if she needs to plug the camper in or not. And uh, one thing I also did want to state is that um, I had charged up my battery and I had a full 12 volts at the battery. But when I measured it back here, it was only 10 volts or so. So one thing that causes that and you really want to look out for is <clears throat> corroded terminals. So I had to replace all of these connections and I cleaned up that grounding stud right there and also cleaned up this fuse here. And uh, you really want to look out for that. Um, Otherwise, your lights are going to be dim in the in the cab, and uh, you're not going to charge right. So, I would recommend changing out those if you haven't done it in a while, because they could look fine, but um, they could be all corroded inside. So, anyways, I uh, hope that helps you guys out. And this is a 2009 A-Liner Expedition. Talk to you later.